first we call in there. Good morning, teacher. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. everybody. Good morning. How Good morning. are you? Good. Everybody fine today? Here it is, Thursday. Yes. 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 Here it is. Hello, Jenny. Hi, Mateo. Hello, Maria Palito. Hello, Saul. Hello, Alejandra. Hello. How is everybody today? Everybody fine? Yes. yes. Good, good. I'm glad to hear it. I'm glad to hear it. All right. So, uh, what are we up to today? Today, we're going to continue our talking about questions. We talked about the indirect yes, no question last time. And this time we're gonna talk about what we call the indirect embedded question for information um, using what and when and where and why and how. And, and sometimes that can get a little tricky because uh, sometimes we have subject questions and sometimes we have object questions. And, and so it, it can get a little dicey. But first things first, Let's jump in and do our verb practice that I sent you. Uh, it was warm up 430 was the name of the document. Warm up 430, does everybody have this one? All right, let me see here. I got to share the paper with you. All right, here it is. Okay, there we go. Can everybody see it? Yes. Okay, a couple of tricky ones, the first two. Mm -hmm. um, the first one, this one is my level fives and sixes will recognize this, mm -hmm. right? We have wood over here, right? So what do we need? What's the partner of wood? Simple past. Simple past, that's right. Right, we're gonna talk more about conditionals later in the class, but. There we have it. If you studied more, your English would improve. Simple past with would. Past and would, present and will. Now here's, here's another one. Ooh. Here's another one with not yet, but it's not yet in the 19th century, right? Mm -hmm. Now we have cars, but in the 19th century, no cars, right? So what can we say? People, Hadn't invented or didn't hadn't invent it? Hadn't invented. Very good, Alejandra. We're using a past perfect in that case, right? A past perfect. People hadn't invented the automobile. right? They invented it later. Now we have automobiles. But in the 19th century, it hadn't been invented yet. All right. Let's see. The next one is looks like just a good old future question about next Saturday night. Mm -hmm. What can we say there? What will, you, what will you do? What will you do or what are you going to do? Both would be fine. I'm gonna write going to here. Going to do, oops. No, what are you going to do next Saturday night? Question about your plans. All right, the next one says, trouble with the teenage son for the last few months. What can we say there? Mm -hmm. For a few months. Had. We could go two ways, right? We could say have had or have been having. Have had or have been having. Have had, have been having. Enjoy. That's our old favorite from level three. Yes, Enjoy is. plus. Working. Sharon, exactly. Yeah. Frank enjoys working with computers. Enjoy plus ING. Enjoys working. The next one says, when you called me last night. There again, we're back to level three, the beginning, the end of level three book, chapter 10, or actually chapter nine. Past continuous, right? Yes, was sleeping. I was sleeping, was exactly. Sleeping. I was sleeping when you called me last night, was sleeping. Let's see, the next one, 
what mm, at the mall last Saturday? Last Saturday is past. Mm -hmm. So what, what did you say? buy? What, what did, you, did buy? you buy? Right. What did you buy? Very good. Did you buy? B U Y. Oops. Too many. Too many U's. There we go. Ah, number eight. Again, my fives and sixes will recognize this. Fussy. Fussy voice. Passive voice, exactly. So every Thanksgiving, turkey is eaten. Is eaten by eaten. most families, right? Passive voice. We'll talk more about passive voice soon in the class, but we haven't talked about it yet. Uh, let's see. The next one is with if. If mm -hmm. Jack mm -hmm, to my comes. party, I will be glad, right? If he comes, right? If Jack comes to my party, I'll be glad if he comes. Uh, this one is about tonight, but we have if. Mm -hmm. So what can we say? Yeah. If you don't want. If you don't want to, right. If you don't want to go to the movies, we can stay home. If you don't want to. All right. The next one says already. Already, yeah. what's going to be what? Has already sold. Has already yes. sold. Very good. Present perfect. Has already sold. Present perfect. That was our key from level three. Present perfect. All right. Let's see. Who at the moment? Is your teacher talking? Right. At the moment is right now, so we want is there. Is your teacher talking to? Super. All right. The next word is the word plan. Plan sounds like maybe infinitive. Huh? Infinity. Mm -hmm. So what are we going to say? My mother plans to, to prepare, prepare lasagna for dinner tonight. Plans to prepare. Ah, another passive here. Passive, passive one. Application. So how do we make passive in future? Will, Will be, be sent. sent. Will be sent to you next week. The application. Will be sent to you next week. We will send the application. The application will be sent. Okay. The next one, while. That's our classic from level three. Mm -hmm. I O plus pass. I was driving. Well, I mm -hmm. was driving. Exactly. Well, I was driving to work yesterday. I had a flat tire. Well, I was driving. Uh, intend. Intend is about a future action, right? So it's just like mm -hmm. plan and want. So what are we going to say? Intends. To give. To give, exactly. Infinitive for all those future actions. We'll have a big lesson about gerunds and infinitives later in the semester. Uh, let me see here. How long? How long? Bless you. How long? And again, we could go two ways. In practicing, no? We could say practice. Or how long has she been practicing? Oops. If she is still playing right now, I would say, how long has she been practicing? If she's not playing anymore, I'd say, how long has she practiced? All right, let's see here. Here we have no subject. Mm -hmm. No Listen. subject. Listening, right? Listen. Jaren's subject. The next one says, at the present time. What can we say at the present time? At the present time, what? Isn't, look isn't, isn't looking, right? Isn't looking, uh -huh. Isn't looking for a job, right? No, está buscando. All right, let's see here. Next one is about a party that was last night. The party was last night. So what's, what's our past tense question? Did you, did you absolutely did you drink? How much champagne did you drink at the party last night? Did you drink? 
And let's see the next one. I was watching TV while my mother was watching was washing the dishes. Right. Okay. Let's see the next one. Since last Friday. Has. Has. One are negative, right? So we're going to say hasn't. Oops. Hasn't been, right? Mm -hmm. He hasn't been in class since last Friday. Next one. Every Saturday, I try to call. to call. To call, right? Call try plus infinitive. Sometimes we use gerund with try, but it means something different. The next one we say about. About a preposition. Mm -hmm. Asking. It, asking. Very good. Jim is thinking about asking his father for a loan. Asking. Gerund with a preposition. Mm -hmm. And the next one is a question about tomorrow. So will, what can we say? Will, will, will work or is going to work, right? And we're done. We went through that very fast. Very good job, everybody. All right. So who do we have here today? We have six students today. Hello, six students. I thought I saw, I thought I saw somebody, I, what, who was that, uh, oh, Apollinar. I thought I saw him coming in, but no I. Oh well. Yeah, because some people confuse when entering the Zoom program because change, change the, the password is sometimes change the number. Right, right, because the two different teachers have two different passwords. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it gets a little confusing, but it, it, as long as you, I always try to send it before the class. So as long mm -hmm. as you click on the one, the the most recent one in your in your folder. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 tricky because, uh, yeah, we have two different teachers in the class, so we have two different uh, instructors that have to use the passwords. All right. Anyway, hello everybody. Hello. Hello. Nice to see you. How are you doing? Good. Everybody pretty fine? Good. Yeah. Yes, pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Very good. This is uh, about the halfway point of the semester. We have finished six weeks. We got about six weeks to go. So the first six weeks were a little crazy, <laughs> but, yeah. but we know what's going to happen the next six weeks, right? We had one week of class, and then we had two weeks of nothing, and then we had one week of class, and then we had vacation, and oh my goodness, what a mess. What a mess those first six weeks were. But, but now we have nothing, but we know what's going to happen, right? Every day, 9 o'clock, Zoom class, one, Monday and Wednesday with Ms. Aguirre, Tuesday and Thursday, Mr. Webb. And, and then we're doing our Schoology lessons. I, I see a, a lot of people are working on the, the Connect with English video series. That's great. That's great. That's going to come in handy because we're going to do some writing lessons about that series um, a little later in the oh. semester in May. In May, we're going to start to do a little bit more writing practice. So, so uh, these first couple of weeks have been just a lot of grammar, but... but we're going to start doing more. I'm going to give you more writing assignments to do on the weekends, uh, but that will come up in May. Coming up next week, right? May is tomorrow, isn't it? May 1st is tomorrow. My goodness. Mm -hmm. All right. So, so today we're going to continue talking about asking questions. That's kind of been our big focus for the few, first few weeks. And just to remind everybody, let me, let me share my board here. And just remind what we talked about last week, or not last week, Tuesday. All right, can everybody see the board? Not yet. Yeah. Okay. Yep, the board's there. Okay, good. All right, so remember, last, week, last time we talked about four ways to ask yes, yes, no mm -hmm. questions, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And 
the four ways were, no, number one, we can ask a direct question, right? For example, do, do you have my book? Right? That's the direct question. Very similar to the direct question is the negative direct question. Right? The negative direct question just changes the auxiliary verb, right? So instead of do you have my book, I would say, don't you have my book? The third kind of question we practice, and you practice quite a bit with Miss Aguirre, was the tag, right? And where you make an affirmative statement And then you put the negative, not in the front, but in the back. Right? You have my book, don't you? And the final one was the one we talked about mostly on Tuesday. We talked about the indirect question, where we have a little introductory clause And then we use the affirmative form of the verb. Does everybody remember the, all that? I hope so. Yes. I hope yes. so. Let's see if the movie's here. Okay. All right. So that's what that was the lesson from Tuesday. Indirect yes, no questions, right? And all four kinds of questions. So, so let's, let's practice one together and then we're gonna go on and talk about the other kinds of questions. So, so let's see. So if I have, for example, if the question is, Maybe Tracy sold her car, okay? What would be the direct question in that one? Mm -hmm. How would I ask a direct question about that? Tracy sold her car. So how do I ask a direct question? Direct question is always with the auxiliary verb in the first position, right? Mm -hmm. So what about simple past? So what am I going to say? Did you did Tracy sell her car? Right. That's the direct question. Did Tracy sell her mm -hmm. car? Okay. All right. Good. All right. What about the negative? How do I make a negative of the same thing? Did 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 didn't Tracy sell her car? Still question marks, right? Mm -hmm. And number three, the tag. That's the one you were working on with Miss Aguirre. Mm -hmm. what, what do we say? Tracy. Tracy, Tracy sold her, her, her car, car, comma. Cheating. 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 Tracy sold her car, didn't she? And the one we talked about on Tuesday, if I say, please tell me. Mm -hmm. Tell me if Tracy. If Tracy sold her hair. Mm -hmm. Right? Those are, oops, I, that, I have to label that last one. That's indirect. Okay. So far, so good. That was two, Tuesday's lesson, right? That was Tuesday's lesson. And I'm going to give you some homework on, on all of this to do uh, over the weekend. But that was Tuesday's lesson. Yes, no questions. And specifically, the indirect yes, no question. And remember, we had two words that we could use. If and whether. Remember, whether is a little bit more formal.
Okay, good. All right, excellent. So let's go to today's presentation. Let's go to today's presentation if we can. And let me start from the beginning. Okay. All right. Now we're going to talk about using. Can everybody see the uh, the yes. slide? Embedded questions. Yes. 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 Okay. Remember, embedded question, indirect question, they're basically the same thing. They're basically the same thing. Embedded question is the same as an indirect question, and they're all noun clauses. Noun clauses. Okay, so let's look at noun clauses with question words here. All right. Whenever we use an introductory clause with a question, it becomes more formal or polite. Right? So if I say, where is the bathroom? That's okay. But maybe if, you, if you're talking to a stranger, you might say, excuse me, could you please tell me where the bathroom is? Right? We're changing the question just a little bit. These are sometimes called embedded questions. Example, where is the main office? That is a direct question. Nothing wrong with it. We learned it in level one, perfectly acceptable. But if you want to be a little more polite, excuse me, can you tell me where the main office is? Indirect question. Let's look at another. This, this kind of question can be a little tricky to make. So let's investigate very carefully. Here's my investigator. All right, so let's take a look. First, we're going to look at the form. How do we put this all together? Even though there are many different kinds of indirect questions, they all follow the same basic pattern. Connector, subject, and verb. Connector, subject, and verb. The connector is the question word. Why or what or where or when. Now, th the tricky part of indirect questions is deciding what is the connector and what is the subject. The verb is always easy. We know what a verb looks like. But figuring out what is the connector and what is the subject is a little bit more difficult from, from time to time. But let's look at it together. But our key point, connector, subject, verb. Connector, subject, verb. This is a noun clause pattern. Be careful. Just like with, with the indirect yes, no questions, we have to be especially careful with do, does, and did. Because do, out, does, out, did, out. We don't want any of those words in our indirect questions. We want to instead use the present tense form and the past tense form of the affirmative verb. So here's, a, here's just a normal question. What do penguins usually eat? I think they eat fish, right? What do penguins usually eat? Okay, direct question, do. Indirect question, do you know what penguins usually eat? I took out that word do, and I put in a, a verb in simple present affirmative. No do, do is out, disappears. How much does this router cost? All right, that's a does question. Do you know how much this router costs? Notice I put an S on my verb. Why? Because I don't have does anymore. I don't have does anymore. When did your parents come to the United States? Simple past. Did. But when I have the indirect question, do you know when your parents came to the United States? So it's just like we were doing on Tuesday. It's just like we were doing on Tuesday. 
The only difference is instead of using if and whether, we're using what or how much or when, right? With the other part, we used if and whether. Now we're using what, how much, when, where, why, who, how, right? But it's the same idea, connector, subject, verb. No do, no does, no did. All right, so that's our first warning. You gotta be careful about that. Now, here's a little bit of a tricky one. Question word subjects. Sometimes a question word is the subject of the sentence. Usually with who or which or what. In these cases, no change is necessary. Example, who is teaching level three, right? The subject of the sentence is the word who. The subject of the sentence is the word who. There's no person in this sentence, right? There's only the question word because I don't know the subject. I'm at, that's what I'm asking about. I'm asking about who is the subject of this sentence. So no change. Do you know who is teaching level three? No change necessary, right? How do you know that the question word is the subject? Because it's always followed by a verb, not an auxiliary verb, a verb. What is in that closet? Direct question. Do you know what is in that closet? Indirect question, no change, no change again. The subject of the sentence is the question. The subject of the sentence is the question. So sometimes I hear students try to change this around and say, do you know what in that closet is? No, not necessary. Because the closet is not the subject. Remember, what did I say? Connector, subject, verb. Well here, the connector and the subject are the same word. And that's what gets tricky. Right? What is the connector? Who? What is the subject? Who? In the, in the second example, what's the connector? What? What's the subject? What? Which car gets the best gas mileage? Direct question. Do you know which car gets the best gas mileage? No change. No change. Because the subject word, in this case, which car, is the question word too. Now that's very different than if I say, um, it, it's very different than if I say, for example, who is your teacher? If I say, who is your teacher? Then teacher is the subject, right? My teacher is Mr. Webb, right? But, or if I say, what did you do on Friday? You is the subject. Or if I say, which car are you going to buy, right? So just because you have who or what or which doesn't mean it's the subject. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Depends on the question. But how do you know? Whenever you have question word verb, then it's the subject. Question word verb, then it's the subject. All right. Be verb. Be verb is always tricky. Right? But keep in mind our formula. Connector, subject, verb. Right? Does anybody know who that guy is? Subject is that guy. Right? So I put is way over here at the end. I don't know who was selected for the award. In this case, who is the subject? Do you know what the ingredients are? Here, the subject is ingredients. So R is way over here. I wonder what is happening. The subject is what? Okay. Punctuation. 
Remember, not every embedded question needs a question mark. When we use a question mark, we use a question mark if the introductory clause is a question. E.g., do you know? That's an example of a question, right? And a period if it is not. Example, I wonder. Right, so you have to look at the introductory clause. If it's, can you tell me, we put a question mark. But if it's, please tell me, no question mark. Example, do you remember what Amanda said? I use a question mark here because this part over here is the question. I didn't like what Amanda said. A period here. Por qué? Because I didn't like is not a question. Right? Do you remember is a question. So I use a question mark. I didn't like is not a question. So no question mark. So the embedded question is not necessarily a question. Sometimes it is. Sometimes it isn't. Do you know where Kumiko lives? Right? Here we have a question because it's do you know? On the other hand, I wonder where Kumiko lives, period, right? We use a period because I wonder is not a question. Infinitives. Sometimes we don't even use a clause. Sometimes we can just use an infinitive after the connector. Instead of a clause, we sometimes use an infinitive after the question word. Usually with should and can. Example, do you know where we can park? This is our indirect embedded question, right? That's what we were looking at earlier today. But you can also say, do you know where to park? Just infinitive after the question word, no problem. I don't know what I should do. Indirect question. Infinitive. Have you heard what to do? Right, that's going to be an infinitive. I'm not sure how many hot dogs I should cook. Indirect question. I'm not sure how many hot dogs to cook. Infinitive. Right? Notice. The first one has a subject and a verb. I should cook. The second one has just an infinitive to cook. Okay, so sometimes we use infinitives instead of noun clauses. And the reasons for the indirect questions are the same as they were the same as they were on Tuesday. Right? The four reasons we use nouns and gerunds as a subject. For example, what Pedro did was very sweet. After verbs and some adjectives. Do you know where the meeting is? I'm not sure what time the game starts. After prepositions. I'm worried about how much this project will cost. And as predicate nouns after our be verb. The problem is where we can store the supplies. Again, same as nouns, same as gerunds. We use gerunds and nouns in exactly these four ways. All right, are you ready for some practice? Yes. Yes, yes okay. All right, so it says here, can you answer these questions with I don't know and an embedded question? Okay, so we're gonna say I don't know and we're gonna change things around. How do we change things around? Connector, subject, verb. Connector, subject, verb. All right, here we go. Who is that man? Okay. 
How, how could you say I don't know to that? What would you say? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who, 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 man, who the who that man is. is. I don't know who that man is. Right. I don't know who that man is. Watch the feedback there. Who that man is. Connector, subject, verb. Why is he here? I, I don't, don't know, know why, he why he is here. Why he is here. Again, connector, subject, verb. Connector, subject, verb. All right. When did he arrive? When did he arrive? I don't know. I don't know. When I don't know. He when. Arrived. Again, what did we say arrived. about did? Out, right? We gotta throw did out. So I don't know when, when he arrived. Right. I don't know when he arrived. What does he want? I don't know. I don't know what he wants. I don't know what he wants. Exactly. We take that does and throw it out. Yeah. I don't know what he wants. Okay. Ready for some more? Mm -hmm. Again, all of these have the same pattern. We start with the question word, and then we put in some more subjects and verbs. All right, more questions about this guy. How long has he been here? I don't know I don't how know. long he has been here. He has been yeah, here. How long he has been here, good. I don't know how long he has been here. Why is he angry? I don't know, I don't why, know he is why he angry. is angry. I don't know why he is angry, good. Who let him in? I don't know I don't who know. let him in. Right. This one is one that I was talking about, where who is the connector and the subject. So, no cambio, no change. I don't know who let him in. Right. No change at all because the question word is the subject. Why? do we have to help him? Here we have do. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why, why we, we have to help, him. to help him. I don't know why we have to help him, right? Again, I just took do and I threw it away. How did he get our address? Now here we have a did, so what happens to did? Throw it away, oh. right? And then we have to change my verb to got. got, exactly. So what are we gonna say? I don't know. I don't know, I don't know how, how he got get, our gets address. our address. Exactly, I don't know how he got address. our address. I don't know how he got our address. What happened to him? I don't know what no. happened to him. Exactly. No change here because, again, we have a noun clause with a what is the subject and the connector. I don't know what happened to him. All right? No problem? Not too bad, huh? Not too bad. All right. I think I understand what the teacher said. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A chimpanzee can learn, you can too. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Let me stop the share here. Okay. California to close all beaches and parks. Oh my goodness. All right. No more, no more beaches and parks, everybody. All right. All right. We're stuck more. 
was stuck. Yes. Too many people went to the beach last weekend and now they yeah. closed everything. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. <laughs> all right. Let me ask you some questions, okay? Yeah. Let, let me practice asking you some questions. All right. Uh, I'm going to ask a question. I want you to answer, I don't know. All right. Let's see. Let's start with Jareen. Uh, Jareen. Yes. Uh, what is the capital of Wisconsin? Again, please. What is the capital of Wisconsin? I don't know was the capital is. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what the capital of Wisconsin is. All right. Maria Polito. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, where does Tomomi live? I don't know. Where? Tomomi. I, I, don't, I don't remember the, the, the lips. The question lips. is, where does Tomomi live? So okay. your answer I is, don't know I don't know. Where Tomomi lives. I don't know where Tomomi lives. Okay. Downtown, I think, right? Tomomi? Yeah, right. along the Tokyo. Little Tokyo. Okay, yeah. there we go. All right, let's see. Alejandra. Yes. Um, let's see. Um, why is Jenny sitting in her car? Can you repeat? Why is Jenny sitting in her car? Oh, I don't know why Jenny. He's in his car. <laughs> He's sitting in his car. <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. I don't know. I guess more quiet. I guess. More quiet. All right. Let's see. Uh, Jenny. Oh, are you there, Jenny? Oh, she, she disappeared. She escaped. So this, I called her name. Yeah. She, she ran away. All right. Let's, let's try uh, Saul. Okay. So, Saul, so, uh, when did Mateo come to the United States? I don't know when did Mateo. We want to say did? No. No do, no does, no did. Out. Okay. So I don't know I, when. I don't know when did Mateo. Uh -oh. I don't know when Mateo. I don't know when Mateo come, came to the United States. Came to the United States. There we go. There we go. I don't know when Mateo came to the United States. All right. Good. Okay. Let's try. Uh, let me see. Uh, Mateo. Are you ready? Yes. Uh, how long has Jareen been married? <laughs> How long has Jareen been married? Yeah. The question? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, How long? I don't know. How long Jareen has been married? Very good. I don't know how long she has been married. But... How long, Jareen? One year and a half. One year and a half. Bravo, oh. bravo, bravo. <laughs> newly, newly wet. <laughs> One year and a half. Oh, my goodness. All right. Uh, Alberta. Are you there? Yes, Mr. Well, I am working, okay? I don't... <laughs> okay, can, can you answer a question? Yes. Okay, uh, let's see. Um, um, uh, where, where is Nancy today? Where is Nancy today? Uh -huh. I don't know. Uh, where is Nancy? Almost. I don't know. I don't know. Do that little switch. Nancy is. is. I don't know where Nancy is. Right. Where Nancy is. Where Nancy is. She's not in our class okay. anymore. So, so no, we don't know where she okay. is. He's in another class. He's yes, in the accounting class. With she's you. in the, no. the accounting really? class. Oh, yeah. Are you still taking the accounting class? Yes, in the oh. evening. Oh, okay. What, what, what time is your class every day? It's one o'clock. One o'clock. Okay. 
All right. So she's still in that class. All right. All right. Well, say, say, say hello for me. Yes. All right. Let, let me see. Uh, Mar Maria Polito. Yes, teacher. Um, um, what did Alejandro eat for breakfast today? I don't know what eat eat no. eight. Alejandra eight. What Alejandra what did Alejandra eight? eat? So I don't know what Alejandra oh, okay. Well, ate. I don't know. Uh -huh. eat. I don't know what. I don't know what Alejandra ate. I don't know what Alejandra ate. Eight. Okay. All right. Good. Okay. Let's see. Did I did I do everybody? Jareen, have I done you yet? I don't think so. I did. Right? Oh, you you already asked. You already did it. Okay. Yeah, you can ask me if you want. Okay, that's okay. If I already <laughs> asked you, that's that's fine. Uh, all right. Everybody ready? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very good. All right, now let's see if we can practice this on paper a little bit. So I'm going to share my screen again. Share my screen. Any questions so far? Are we doing okay? No, it's okay. It's okay. We're, we're doing okay? Good. All yeah. right, so let me share my screen and open up the proper file here. All right, where are we? Here we go. Oops. Where is that file? Here we go. All right. Let me. See. Do you see anything right now? No. Is the other? You see the other the other uh -huh. file? Okay. Uh -huh. I gotta share again. All right. Let me start again. Share. Go. Okay. Now we see questions and embedded questions. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, yes. remember what's the big difference then between the question and the embedded question? The big difference is in the direct question, the auxiliary verb is in front of the subject, right? Mm -hmm. It's question word, auxiliary, subject verb, right? That auxiliary has to move around, right? So here we have a mystery information. Kevin went somewhere. Mm -hmm. Well, what would be the direct question? Of course. Yeah, where, where, where did, 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 did Kevin, Kevin, go? Did Kevin go? Where did go he go? Somewhere. Right. Oh no. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Did I make my lines incorrectly? That's terrible. Mm -hmm. See, I, what, I I didn't make these to to uh, to do on on a computer, so they're not ready. Okay, there we go. Where did he go? Right. Mm -hmm. And I, if you say I don't know, what are you going to say? I, I don't know I don't where know. he go. went. When. Where he, he went. Where he went. went. Right? Mm -hmm. You're missing when? Wait. No. We. Oops. You're right. <laughs> oh, okay. He. Thank, yeah. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. If I ever make a mistake on this, please let me know because I've got like 12 things happening here at the same time. And it's easy to get distracted. All right. All right. The next one says the little boy wants something. And I want to make a question. This is simple present, right? Mm -hmm. yes. So, what could I? Yeah. What kind of question could I make? What does the little boy want? The little boy want something. What does the little boy want? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And and how would how would we answer that? I know sure you know what the little boy wants. Wants. Little boy wants. I'm not sure what he wants, right? What does the little boy want? I'm not sure what he wants. Everybody agree? Right? Yeah. So simple present question, we need does. Mm -hmm. Simple pre present embedded question, no does. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maria visited someone in the hospital. Okay, that's simple past, right? Mm -hmm. So what could yeah. we say? Who did, who, who who did Maria, Maria, Maria visit, visit in the hospital? In the hospital. Who did Maria visit in the hospital? And then 
Again, connector, subject, verb. What do we say? I'm not positive. I'm not positive. Maria visited. Maria visited in the Maria. hospital. She visited, right? Visited. Mm -hmm. uh, who did Maria visit in the hospital? I'm not positive who she visited. All right. The next one says, my uncle has been a carpenter for many years. Okay. What would the question be? How, how long how has long my you? uncle been well, a carpenter? Let's, let's say your uncle. How long has your uncle, uncle been a carpenter? A carpenter. Right. How long has your uncle been a carpenter? Okay. And then the answer. I, I don't I'm not sure, sure how, how, how long, long my uncle has been a carpenter. My uncle has, has been a carpenter. My, my, my uncle has been a carpenter for many years. How long has your uncle been a carpenter? I'm not sure how long he's been a carpenter. All right, again, what's the big difference? In this one, has is here. But in this one, has is there, right? When you have a, a present perfect, the only thing you're doing is moving, right? You're moving it from in front of the subject to after the subject. Okay, I'm going to buy something at the mall. Okay, this is going to be a what question. Ooh. Ooh. I am working, Mr. Wet. Okay, that's, that's okay. Okay. That's okay. All right. Okay. Somebody com coming into the store. <laughs> All right, let's see here. I think we could probably turn off her microphone while she's doing her work. There we go. <laughs> All right. Okay, back to business here. I'm going to buy something at the mall. It's a future question, right? Mm -hmm. So what, what's the question gonna be? What? What are you going to what buy? What are you at, going to buy at, at, the at the mall? What are you gonna buy at the mall? Meet the web? Yes. Can we say what will you Oh, Of buy? course, yeah, of course, no problem. Any kind of future question would be fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. And the next one, it says, "Have I haven't decided? Haven't decided what? What I what do you why would I am I'm going, going to buy? Exactly. I haven't decided what I'm going, I'm going to buy. buy. Now I want everybody to notice something. Notice this." And this are exactly the same, aren't they? Mm -hmm. I'm going to buy. I'm going to buy, right? Remember, don't make it more complicated than it is. A noun clause, an embedded question, is just an affirmative sentence with the word what or when or why in front, right? The question is really the hard one. The, the embedded question is actually kind of easy, especially for people who speak Spanish, because people who speak Spanish don't use these crazy auxiliary verbs in their questions. All right. All right. Next one. My wife wants to go somewhere for vacation. All right. This is simple present, isn't it? Want. Mm -hmm. So what can we say? Where? Where does? Where does your? My your wife, wife, your wife want, want to go, to want to go for vacation. For for vacation. vacation. <laughs> Where does your wife want to go for vacation? And our, she was our answer, going. she hasn't told me where, where my wife my wants wife to go. Well, wants to go. well let's, let's put she. That's probably more likely. She, she hasn't told me where she, she wants, wants to, to go. <laughs> For to go. vacation. She hasn't told me where she wants to go for vacation. Where does your wife want to go for vacation? She hasn't told me where she wants to go. And notice everybody, do we use question marks in my answer? No question marks, right? No. What she wants, who she visited. Por qué? Because these are not questions, right? They're called embedded questions, but they're not questions here. They're not questions, they're answers. All right. Oh, I'm going to buy something at the mall. That's the same one. Let me change that. Let me change that while we're working here. Let's see, how about, uh, um, 
All right. Mm -hmm. Sammy saw something on TV. What did Sammy see on the TV? Mm -hmm. yeah, so our question would be, what did what did Sammy see? Right? What Sammy did see. Sammy see what on TV? Sammy. And the answer, I don't know. What what she Sammy, what Sammy saw so, so, so on TV. Okay, uh, what did Sam Sammy saw something on TV? What did Sammy see? I don't know what Sammy saw. All right, Walter said something very impolite. What can we say here? What did he? What did, what did Walter say? Say. say? Very impolite. Well, what did he say? What did he say? Can you say? I don't know what the repeat. repeat what he said. He said. I don't want to repeat what he said. Okay. All right. Okay. Something very funny happened in class yesterday. All right. Something very funny happened in class yesterday. All right. What can we say here? What? What? What did very funny. it happen? It very funny happened. Well, happen all we need is yesterday. to say. What? What happened, right? What happened, what happened in class yesterday? What happened? Something very funny happened in class yesterday. Oh, really? What happened? And and what did I say? You should ask Manuel. Manuel, what yesterday? What happened yesterday? Right? You should ask Manuel. What happened? Is Brenda here? Hello, Brenda. Welcome. If you're here, I hope so. All right. Number nine. Number nine says Felix quit his job for some reason. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what can we say? Why? Why does? Why does or why did? Why did oh, Felix, why did Felix, Felix quit? Quit. Why did Felix okay. quit? And the indirect question, he won't he tell me. Won't tell me why, why, why Felix, Felix he quit. 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 He won't tell me why he quit. Okay, the next one. The class will begin sometime. Future, right? Mm -hmm. So what can we say? What time, what what time, what time the class will the class begin? begin? What time will the class begin? Good. The next one says, I'm not, I'm not quite, quite sure, sure what, what the class begin. The class no, begin. What time the class begin? Will begin. Will begin. What time will the class begin? I'm not quite sure what time the class will begin. Okay, the next one. David is looking for something. What could we say here? What? What is David looking for? David looking for? Looking for. What is David looking for? And then the answer? I don't know. Why what David, David is looking for? Oh, what he's looking for. Alex did something unusual yesterday. What did Alex do? Exactly. What did Alex do? Alex do. What did Alex do? Oh, really? What did he do? You say, sorry, I don't know. 
Alex. I don't know what, what he Alex did, did yes. yesterday. Yeah. What did Alex do yesterday? I don't know what he did. I don't know what he did. Now the next one, we have the word somebody in the subject position, right? Somebody broke the window. So what's my question here? Who broke, who broke, who broke, the, who window? broke the window? Who broke the window? Who broke the window? I have no idea. I have no idea who broke the window. Who broke the, who window. Broke the window? Broke the window. Punto. Mm -hmm. All right. The next one is a how question. It says here, Romeo and Juliet killed themselves in some way. Okay. How? How did? How did? Romeo and Juliet killed the, themselves. <laughs> themselves. Themselves. How did Romeo and Juliet kill themselves? I. Okay. I don't remember. How they killed themselves. How they killed themselves. They took poison. That's how they did it. They took poison. Mm -hmm. All right. The train will come soon. All right. Question. When, 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 will, the when will the train come? Exactly. When will the train come? And let's ask this man when the train will come. Let's ask this man when the train will come. All right. Hector found something in the yard. Hector found something in the yard. What did Hector find in the yard? Did Hector find it in the yard? And then the answer? I don't know what he found in the yard. I don't know what he found in the yard. Good. Two more. Uh, Graciela and Beatrice are going to bring something to the party. What are uh, they, they, they going to bring? Going to bring the party. The party. They're going to bring to the party. I don't, I don't know what, what, what they are, they are going, going to bring. Are going to, the, to, bring, to bring. Perfect. I don't know what they are going to bring. I don't know what they are going to bring. Excellent. All right, the next one. Vicente told somebody my secret. Did who did who didn't tell who did Vicente tell? Who did Vicente tell? Who did Vicente tell? I have to find out who Vicente told. Who Vicente told. I have to find out who he told. All right. How's it going? No problem so far? Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to practice in some small groups. We're going to practice in some small groups. Let me see here. Let me stop the share for a second. Okay, how many people do we have today? Two, four, six, eight, nine. Hello, Brenda. Hi, Mr. Webb. Nice to see you. Thank you. Yeah, so, so nice wonderful to see you. To see you. Yeah. I miss you a lot. Yeah, this is your, your first time for our class, right? Yes. Okay, well, we miss you too. We miss you too. 
All right. So today we're going to practice asking some questions. All right. Now, here's here's what we're going to do. I want you to copy these question words down that I'm going to put on the board. Okay. So I'm going to share the board, and I want you to copy these questions down. All right. Let's see. I'm going to erase all this. Okay. What, when, where, why, how, how long, who, what time? Let's see, I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. That sounds good. All right, so here's the question words I want we're going to use. So copy down that list of question words. Okay. okay. And, and you're going to ask a question to your classmates, but I want your question to begin with an introductory clause. And here's the clauses we're going to start with. And I want you to copy these down too. All right, let's try those three. Could you please tell me, may I ask you, and I'd like to know. Again, why are we doing this? We're going to do it to make my question a little bit more polite. So, but when we say, could you please tell me, my question has to be an indirect question, right? So, for example, uh, let, let me ask you these questions uh, with, uh, with indirect questions. Just listen to my examples. All right. Uh, could you please tell me uh, what your favorite movie is? May I ask you when you came to the United States? I'd like to know where you live. Could you please tell me why you are studying English? I would like to know how you, how you feel about action movies. May I ask you how long you have been living in the United States? Could you please tell me who your favorite singer is? And may I ask you uh, what time you get up in the morning? Does everybody have this copy down? Yes. Yes, got it, everybody? Yes. Okay. So today we have two, four, six, eight, nine people. So I'm going to put you in three groups with three people in each group, okay? okay. So you're going to go around in a circle, and you're going to ask what kind of questions? Indirect questions. So be okay. careful. Watch your partners. Make sure your partners are using indirect questions. So may I ask you what your middle name is? May I ask you what your address is? May I ask you what? you what kind of movies you like right whatever you want to say is fine and of course answer the question we're having a conversation right i want you to answer the question all right let's let's practice a little little bit i want you to ask me first and then i'm going to put you in your little groups okay uh all right uh let's start with uh well let's start with brenda why not uh, brenda can you can you please ask me a what question Okay, can you please tell me when is your birthday? Oh, well, if you're gonna say if you're gonna say when, I could, could you please tell me when your birthday is, right? Okay. Can when? you please tell me when your birthday is? Yes, sure. My birthday is October thirty first. All right, Alberta. How about you? Try a question. Alberta. Oh, oh Alberta's. Microphone is off. Alberta, are you there? Yes. Can you ask me a question? Uh, do you like to know how you like you see the movie? Uh, how often? 
Uh -huh, how often? Okay, so I'd like to know how often you see movies. Uh, well, now I don't see movies at all, but uh, in, in the past, I used to see, go to the movie theater once or twice a month. All right. Okay. Uh, Thank you, Mr. Bush. All right, no problem. Jarine, ask me a question. Mm, could you please, did you hear me? Okay, could you please tell me what time your breakfast is? What, what time my breakfast is? Uh, yeah. uh, usually I eat breakfast about six or 6.30. Uh, Maria Polito, please ask me yes. a question. Yes, teacher. Could you please tell me when the classes begin? When, uh, class begins every day at nine o'clock. All right, Mateo, ask me a question. Hey, could you please tell me what you did yesterday? Uh, yesterday, I went to the pharmacy. Uh, Tomomi, can you ask me a question? Yes. Um, I'd like to know how long you have been, you have lived in Los Angeles? I have lived in Los Angeles since 1987. Uh, let's see. Alejandra, can you ask me a question? See, I would like to know how long have you talk English? I have taught English for about 25 years, maybe more. Yeah, probably more. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Jenny, can you ask me a question? Uh, I don't hear your microphone, Jenny. Can, are you there? Can you hear me? Oh, I don't hear. I, I see your lips moving, but I don't hear you. <laughs> You're just going to have to listen, I guess. All right, sorry. Saul, how about you? Ask me a question. Okay. May I ask you where are you? Where what? Where are you ancient from? Oh, my ancestors. Oh, but but yes. yeah. So so where your ancestors are from, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, my ancestors are from uh, Germany and England and France. Oh wow! Well. Uh, yeah, <laughs> three three countries inside me. German, mm -hmm. yeah, half half German, twenty five percent English, twenty five percent French. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, no problems, everybody? No. No problems. Very good. Okay, so I'm going to put you in your little groups, and I want you to practice with uh, the people in the, in the little rooms, okay? Again, I'll, I'll give you, oh, I don't know, five or ten minutes to practice, and just ask, you know, small talk questions. You know, we were talking, we were talking about small talk. You know, ask some small talk questions. I'd like to know what kind of movies you like. Could you please tell me uh, what you did last weekend, right? Remember, th why are we doing questions like this? It's a little more polite. It's a little more polite. And, and so, especially in like a small talk situation where you are asking questions to somebody maybe you don't know very well, these kind of questions are very nice because they sound very polite. Okay, so let me put you into to a couple of different groups. I'll give you, let's see, we'll do, uh, uh, let's see, let's do, let's do two groups with four people in each group. Okay, all right. So I'm going to put you into your rooms and I want you to ask each other some questions and we'll do this for about five or 10 minutes. Okay, all right, everybody got it? No yeah. problem. Okay, so you're going to get a button. And the button is going to tell you to join the group, okay? All right, so go ahead and push that button. Push that button and go to your room. Okay, but first, let me do one more thing before we, we stop for today. Let's do a little online practice. Okay, can everybody see the online worksheet? Yes. Yes. Okay, so what does it say? It says, choose the correct sentence. Okay. All right. Oops. All right. So, here we have three choices. Which one makes sense? 
Yeah, do you know whether or not they are going to exactly. have a large wedding? Exactly. Right? Uh, because notice these first, see. the first two are using question form, right? Mm -hmm. Why is the cafeteria crowded? Where are they going? I cannot use question form if I have I wonder and do you know. I have to use subject and yeah. verb, right? Connector, subject, verb. All right, let's try this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, look at those three sentences. Yeah. So does Which, anyone? Does anyone know what the topic no, is? No. It's B. Mm -hmm. Letter B, right. Mm -hmm. Letter B, good job. Right, we're using letter B because that's the only one that has connector, subject, verb. Mm -hmm. Connector, subject, verb. The others, again, have a question form. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next one. Hmm, which one can we use there? Do you know if, ma if many people are coming to the party? Yeah, first answer is good, right? The first answer is good. Good. All right. The next one. The B? I, uh -huh. I wish I knew where I left my glasses. Letter B, right? Connector, subject, verb. Connector, subject, verb. Good. All right. Number five. Three sentences. Which one? You tell me what your plans are. The B. Letter B, right. Tell me what your plans are, right? Tell me what your plans are. Yeah. Okay, let's look at number six. Letter A, right. Again, we have our connector subject verb. Connector subject Verb. Okay. Number seven. Number seven. Choose the correct sentence. What do we have? A. 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 Connector, subject, verb. Right? Again, this is question form. And this is question form. So we want connector, subject, verb. All right. Ocho, what do we think here? The C. 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 I wonder how long it takes to get there. Okay, two more. Let's see, choose the correct sentence. The A. A, right. A, very good. Does anyone know why Carl was absent from class yesterday? Letter A. Okay, and finally. The B. Can you, I can, can you remember what the name of the author who wrote the animal Z was? Right. Okay. Okay. All right. Good. So, so what did we learn this week? We learned all about questions, direct questions and indirect questions, right? And we looked at, and last week we looked at tag questions and we also talked about um, negative questions. So we had a lot of different, this week was questions, 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 right? Because it is a little tricky to make all of these different kinds of questions in English. So, like I said, um, um, later this afternoon, I'm going to send you information about some homework I want you to do. It's not ready yet, but it's going to be in your Schoology page. When I, okay. As soon as I get it ready, I will send you a, a message. I can do it this weekend. Continue to watch those videos. I know Tomomi's watching the videos. Uh, Alejandra, you started watching the videos, right? Mm -hmm. About the story about Rebecca and uh -huh. becoming mm -hmm. a singer, right? Yes. Keep, watch, keep watching those videos because we are going to do some writing about the videos uh, in May. Okay, so oh, okay. we're gonna we're gonna use those videos as the basis for our writing projects. Okay, so uh, if you have if you have time, do keep watching those videos. Um, you don't have to watch all 48 of them, but some of them we're going to need to write our little 
uh, writing projects. We're going to do, in May, we're going to do three papers, right? We're going to do three papers. I'm going to give you one paper, paper assignment every weekend, okay? They won't be long. They'll be one page, but, but we'll do three, three different kinds of essays. We're going to do a comparison. We're going to do a comparison essay. We're going to do a narrative essay, and we're going to do a com uh, what's what's the third one? Uh, I don't remember. I'll have to tell you. We're going to do three three papers, and instead of having a writing test, I'm going to just look at those three papers and and use that as your writing test. Okay. Okay. So 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 don't use your Google Translator. All right. <laughs> okay. Is, is, I, I use the, the, the Google. When you send the, the, the papers, you send a copy or, or how I'll give you later? Well, how are you going to give me the paper? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You can either send it to me in, in uh, as, as email? an attachment by email or, mm -hmm. or you, if you want to type it on your computer or you can write it and take a photo. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, either either way is fine, and then okay. I'll just look look at it uh, and and give you a, a score. Okay. 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 But okay. I'll, that'll be in May, right? In in April we were just getting organized, so we didn't do any okay. writing assignments. But in May we're going to start doing some writing assignments. Okay. Okay. No problems. No problem. No. Let's <laughs> go. All right. <laughs> all right. Very good. So we'll see you all on Tuesday, right? On Tuesday, mm -hmm. and, I, and look look for your message about the homework, which will come later today. Okay. 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 All right. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you. All right. Gracias a todos. Thank, Thank you, Mr. Very Webb. Much, everybody. Have a nice weekend. Have a nice weekend. Okay. Bye, Bye, everyone. See you later. Sir. See you Bye. later. Thanks for coming. Thanks for sticking to it. I really appreciate your efforts. It's not easy, but we're we're doing it. We're getting it done. Okay. okay. So okay. I'm gonna Thank I'm you. gonna send Thank you those you. slides too in a few minutes. Okay. 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 All right. Thank bye you. Bye-bye, everybody.